The first independent probe into the allegations of genocide in the Xinjiang region of China claims there is clear and convincing evidence the Chinese government is violating every single provision in the United Nations Genocide Convention with an intent to destroy the mostly Muslim Uyghur population. The report, published Tuesday by the New Lines Institute for Strategy and Policy, a nonpartisan Washington, D.C. think tank, involved more than 50 global experts in human rights and international law who conducted the first non-government analysis of China's alleged actions in Xinjiang. The experts, considering eyewitness testimonies and official government documents, concluded the Chinese government bears responsibility for an ongoing genocide which involves mass internment, a mass birth prevention strategy, and other policies and practices geared toward either fully or partially eradicating a population of up to 2 million Uyghurs that's been detained since 2014. The report claims evidence that the Chinese government is violating all five provisions of the UN Genocide Convention, any one of which would constitute a genocide, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, imposing measures intended to prevent births, and forcibly transferring children out of the group. Uyghurs are suffering from systematic torture and cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment, the report said, describing the region's government homestays, state-run orphanages and forced labor schemes as designed to indoctrinate and wash clean brains. China's policies and practices targeting Uyghurs in the region must be viewed in their totality, which amounts to an intent to destroy the Uyghurs as a group, in whole or in part, the report reads. Azim Ibrahim, director of special initiatives at New Lines and a co-author of the report, told CNN the evidence supporting allegations of genocide is overwhelming, describing China's leadership as architects of genocide. The U.S. State Department under the outgoing Trump administration declared the Chinese government's treatment of Uyghurs to be genocide in January, and was soon joined by similar denouncements from the Dutch and Canadian parliaments. Meanwhile, the Chinese government has repeatedly defended its actions in Xinjiang, with Foreign Minister Wang Yi calling allegations of genocide preposterous during a March 7 news conference.